Hi everyone, welcome to Loving and Sharing with me. And today, let's make something fun. I have a few electric taiyaki pan. Taiyaki is traditional Japanese fish shaped pancake. You can utilize electric taiyaki pan or you can utilize different type of a mold. Let's make delicious taiyaki and it's a lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay, let's prepare our dried ingredients and wet ingredients for our fish-shaped pancake batter, taiyaki batter. Now, let's mix flour. We're gonna sift it. Baking powder. Okay, let's leave this on the side. Okay, let's mix our wet ingredients, sugar, butter, egg, and salt. I'm using almond milk, but you can use a regular milk. You mix it until sugar is all dissolved. Now we can combine our dried ingredients. Okay, make sure there's no lumps. All right, it's all combined. Okay, we just prepared the board. Tayaki batter, pancake batter here. And I poured a little bit right here so we can use it. Now, traditionally, this is for red bean fish-shaped pancake. Usually, in Japanese, they use red bean. But now, we can add savory chicken. If you have a leftover chicken, you can add cheese. You can add any fresh fruits or fruit jams. I have some cream cheese, guava paste, you can use anything, or you can even add whole egg. You can use the chocolates, chicken, sausage, anything that you have it at home, you can utilize it. Okay, let's preheat our taiyaki electric pan, and you can use butter or can use oil. Oil a little bit here. Okay, we have a better mixture. We can start at the edge right here, fish tail. Fill approximately 50% of the fish. Okay, let's add our red bean first. See here, red bean, I can just squeeze it here and put a little bit right here. There we go, and add a little bit more batter right here, cover the red bean. And let's cover it. Cover and let's cook for two minutes. Total of a three minutes. We can open it. It's all done. Look at this. It's hot. All right, let's be right here. If you see them dry batters, you can always wipe it. Okay, let's try with the one more with the red bean. And red bean. Yet 
feathers on top. Okay, close the lid. Let's bake three minutes this time. Okay, in the meantime, we can add our batter. It's been three minutes. Let's open it. Okay, look at this. It's all done. Don't worry about all this extra batter. We can shrink it later. Add some oil. This time, let's try a little bit of a chicken savory one. Now, I'm going to add some cheese first. And we can add chicken. If you have anything left over at home, you can add sausage, you can add a chicken, you can add a beef, pork, and add our batter. Cover it. Another three minutes. This chicken is already cooked. All we have to do is cook the batter for three minutes. That's it. Okay, it's been three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try egg this time. This mold is very small, so we can't put whole egg. So I'm just gonna have to put egg yolk right here. Again, cover it. Three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Okay, let's try our last filling. I have some guava paste and cream cheese. You can use fruit jam, fresh banana, chocolate chips. Okay, while we're waiting, Let's trim our fish right here. <laughs> and use the scissors to cut it. This. Okay, we trimmed our fish. Okay, everyone. We used two cups of flour and we made a 40 tayaki, 40 fish shaped a pancake here. And we trimmed up all the crust here. We added a various filling here. You can add matcha powder if you like to have matcha batter. This is another optional. Now, This is red bean tayaki, and this is, oh, chicken and cheese. This is chicken and cheese, and this is cream cheese and guava paste. This is egg yolk, egg yolk. Let me try it. Mm. Try chicken. Mm. These are so tasty. Sweet ones, savory ones. You must try it. We just finished 40 tayaki. Simple and easy but tasty. Please try it. And thank you for watching, loving and sharing with Megan. See you next time.